Another so-called ransomware attack is underway worldwide with more than 75,000 attacks reported. Greetings citizens of the world. We are Anonymous, a zero-day vulnerability tool covertly exploited by U.S. intelligence agencies and exposed by the Shadow Brokers hacking group has been blamed for the massive spread of malware that infected tens of thousands of computer systems globally. The ransomware virus which extorts Windows users by blocking their personal files and demanding payment to restore access, allegedly exploits a vulnerability that was discovered and concealed for future use by the National Security Agency, according to a range of security experts. Our analysis indicates the attack, dubbed WannaCry, is initiated through an SMBV2 remote code execution in Microsoft Windows. This exploit, codenamed Eternal Blue, has been made available on the Internet through the Shadow Brokers dump on April 14, 2017. Russian cybersecurity firm, Kaspersky Lab, wrote in a blog post about the attack. Although Microsoft had already patched the backdoor roughly a month before it became public, Many users who did not install the latest security updates seem to have become the primary victims of the attack. The worm has reportedly hit universities, a major Spanish telecom, FedEx, and the Russian Interior Ministry. The NHS services across England and Scotland were also one of the major companies to have been hit by the large-scale cyber attack and this has disrupted hospital and GP appointments. Some hospitals and GPS have been unable to access patient data after their computers were locked by a ransomware program demanding a payment worth £230. But there is no evidence patient data has been compromised, NHS Digital said. Roughly 40 NHS organizations and some GP practices have been hit. The NHS in Wales and Northern Ireland has not been affected though. There is no indication of who is behind the attack yet, but the hackers demanded their payment in the virtual currency Bitcoin, which is harder to trace. Prime Minister Theresa May said, This is not targeted at the NHS. It's an international attack and a number of countries and organizations have been affected. Still though, it shows that these hackers have little disregard for their actions and will put other lives at risk in order to blackmail people out of their money. In the video description, you can find a list of all NHS services that are known by the BBC to have been affected. Now we're going to show you a demonstration of how WannaCry ransomware works for research and security purposes. Hello and welcome back to another video. Now I am basically interrupting one of my exam sort of revision breaks to bring you some important, important news. And that is that the NHS, the National Health Service of England, and also Telefonica, which is a really large telecom provider, uh, worldwide, they've both been hit by this ransomware, Wanna Decryptor, or Wanna Cryptor ransomware, whatever you want to call it. It is basically a nasty threat which has been spreading through spam emails, and this is just an exe sample of the application here. So here it is on Virus Total. Uh, we've got the votes here. A lot of people actually this time. 19. That's very uncommon. Uh, two people for some reason, have voted this as safe. I don't know what the hell they're doing. As you can see, malicious, there I am. Uh, and basically, well, it's already got 34 out of 60. Uh, and you can see that, for some reason, a vast, a Vera, Clam AV, Komodo, uh, Microsoft, all this sort of thing, have Viper even, have not actually detected this. But all the main ones really have. Uh, Trend Micro has Sophos. 360, Panda, McAfee, Kaspersky, Dr. Webb, MSysoft, ESA, Fscure, that sort of thing. So it has been detected quite widely. If we go to documents, we've got some text files. And in pictures, we got an image in there. So let's begin. Uh, but before we do, of course, check the details. I almost forgot that. I'm, again, seriously carried away here because this is a major threat. But as you can see, the file description, disk part, it's an application, the... Pretty realistic file version there. Product name, Microsoft Windows Operating System. That's legit. Copyright, Microsoft Corporation. Well, at least they did well there. It's a 3.35 megabyte file, so it's actually pretty large. Uh, and the original file name was diskpart.exe. So I've obviously renamed it since. But now we shall go ahead. There is no icon for this file. Uh, and instantly you can see what the hell is all this stuff. 
just look at all this junk which has now appeared on the uh, the desktop. And crikey, I mean, it's just screwed everything up. We've now got a new background. As you can see, we've got a bunch of stuff here. It looks like it's encrypted stuff and not deleted the other stuff. Now we've got a Windows Command processor or UAC prompt. Uh, so we're going to accept that, obviously. And you can just see that, well, everything has kind of happened. Uh, you can see that there's the dot WN cry extension wn cry wanna cry wanna crypto whatever and you've got the please read me you've got an application here and here it is here's the pop-up oops your files have been encrypted we got several languages <laughs> just kidding we've got a bunch of languages holy cow and i would like to mention this has been spreading around worldwide this is a really really major instant i mean it's affected the NHS, Telefonica, it's been to Russia, it's been all across Europe. It's literally gone worldwide and uh, it is a pretty severe threat. Now, I'm not going to read all of this, but you can see the important files are encrypted. It's got basically all the standard stuff. And this is what half of the NHS is just seeing right now. Uh, because presumably some guy opened up a spam email. Probably a PDF was used in that case. Uh, they open that up, and then, you know, it just went downhill from there. But, I mean, just look at this. This is $300 worth of Bitcoin to the address. Check payment, decrypt. we got all sorts of shortcuts here. we got your files will be lost on. Here we go. And payment will be raised. So, I'm pretty sure the payment increases over time, as you can see. Uh, and, yeah, that's literally the window. So, there you go. Let's have a look at the background. Oops, your important files are encrypted. If you see this text, but don't see the wanna decryptor window, then your antivirus removed the decryptor software or you deleted it from your computer. If you need your files, you have to run the decryptor software. Uh, please find an application file named at wanna decryptor at .exe in any folder or restore from the antivirus quarantine. Run and follow the instructions. So, yeah, I mean, you can see they've really screwed stuff up here. They've got all sorts of crap on the desktop. They've encrypted everything. We've got a copy of the background here. We've got some interesting applications. We've got a folder. My VM is lagging. we got Tor. Apparently, that's been installed. Some data in here for Tor as well. Interesting. Interesting indeed. And uh, what is this? MSG. Holy cow, a bunch of stuff in here. So there it is anyway, guys. And let's just take a look at the documents again. Holy crap. Yep, you can see these have all been encrypted and the original text file has been deleted now. Uh, the readme file, yep, it's basically similar to everything else. Uh, and you can just see, there you go. If you want to read it, I'll let you read it for a couple of seconds. There you go. And now if we check the pictures, you can see again, basically the same thing. And uh, yeah, that is the infection. So let's just go ahead and check if anything has been added to percent update for sent. Let's go ahead and see if we've got anything in the temp folder here. It's possible. You can see, wow, there's this, this stuff in here. Temp folder. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> there's definitely some stuff in here. Um, so, I mean, we've got an anything which has the encrypted extension there there's quite a bit so it has made changes in there as sort of expected and that is really the extent of the file so that's yeah that's the main bit of this video <laughs> i may show some graphs in a second but uh for now that is the demonstration on friday a quickly spreading nasty piece of malware crossed mountains and oceans to infect more than 70,000 machines around the world in a matter of hours. Among those infected were more than a dozen hospitals in England, a telecom in Spain, FedEx's offices in the United Kingdom, and apparently, the Russian Interior Ministry. Within half a day, there were instances detected on six continents. Still there is no sign of hackers who did the attack, but they did it for money. Ransomware is a kind of cyber attack that involves hackers taking control of a computer system and blocking access to it until a ransom is paid. The software is normally contained within an attachment to an email that masquerades as something innocent. Once opened it encrypts the hard drive, 
making it impossible to access or retrieve anything stored on there such as photographs, documents or music. The WannaCry ransomware attack that spread around the globe yesterday caused chaos at hospitals, manufacturing shutdowns, headaches for Microsoft, and overtime for cybersecurity professionals. But the hackers responsible for this absurd attack have made relatively little in the way of profits. According to an analysis by respected security researcher Brian Krebs, the hackers have thus far only pulled in about $26,000 for perpetrating what is believed to be one of the largest ransomware attacks in history. The best protection against ransomware attacks is to have all files backed up in a completely separate system. This means that if you suffer an attack you won't lose any information to the hackers. A young man in the UK going by the name Malware Tech stumbled on a kill switch that briefly stopped the spread of the ransomware, according to new reports. The hackers have updated the malware and it's back in action. With thousands of infections identified in over 100 countries, it will be difficult to get all of the systems patched and put an end to this for good. Some experts believe that WannaCry will likely be around for many years to come. We do not exploit massive spread of malware on the 99%. We also strongly condemn the criminal activities against innocent people. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.